Hi, Chan Chan. Hi, buddy. Jesse, I hear a horse fly. There's a horse fly around here somewhere. Hi, buddy. friends so I'm cooking dinner now it is Friday currently here while I'm filming and you know for Friday evenings I do like to try and do something nice for dinner and I am making jalapeno popper chicken casserole this is a recipe that is on my website it is a creamy flavorful chicken dish and the version on my website also has bacon in it, but I'm just omitting the bacon this time around just to make my life easy because I'm actually making a triple batch of this. Uh, one batch is for dinner tonight, and then I'm making a double batch uh, to take to fellowship tomorrow um, for the potluck. And... Um, and so I'm just kind of skipping the bacon. Believe me, there is plenty of flavor in this dish. Um, the, the bacon is just kind of an added bonus. This recipe is on my website. I will put a link to it down in the video description below if you are interested in it. And the original recipe, you do bake this in the oven um, just for a few minutes, just to kind of bubble everything together, you know, get it all melty and bubbly and all that good stuff. Um, but the double batch that I'm going to make, um, I'm not going to bake that. I am just going to throw it all into a slow cooker because you saute the peppers. There's jalapeno peppers and red bell pepper. You saute these in normally bacon drippings, but I'm just going to use some ghee for today. And really, nowadays, I've got to use ghee anyways because the bacon that I cook is really lean. Um, now I use turkey or beef bacon. I gave up eating pork a couple of years ago. But you saute the peppers in the pan, get them nice and tender, and then you dice up a whole bunch of chicken and you saute that in the same pan in the same drippings so it gives just tons of flavor to the dish. 
So I'm not going to go through the whole recipe today. I may do that another day. I, I don't actually remember if I have a video of this recipe. But what I did want to include in this video, however, was the remainder of something that I filmed the other day for my Friday video. And that was um, information about our internet. I mentioned that I had signed up for Starlink <laughs> and we got Starlink. Um, that it shipped super fast and all of that and I've received a lot of questions about it. Uh, first and foremost, a lot of people want to know how the heck we got it so quickly in less than a week when there's waiting lists. So I'm going to share what I filmed the other day right here and um, I think maybe when I get done sharing that I'll come back and show you dinner. All right, so the question that I had about the Starlink that I've had a couple of people ask now is how did I get Starlink so quickly um, here at our homestead when there's people who have been on waiting lists for over a year? Um, well, I'm going to tell you a little secret. Starlink has more than one product that they have available. And when we were doing our homework for this property um, and, and trying to figure out what internet we would have available and all of that, I went on the Starlink website and it said that when I put in our address, Starlink was not yet available. When you look at the map, it does not show Starlink being available in pretty much any of the state of Arkansas. Yet there's tons of people here who have it. So I had talked to a friend of mine when we were discussing the internet issues and she says, oh, you can still use Starlink. And I said, how? Because one of the products that Starlink offers is an RV roaming satellite internet. Well, people travel with their RVs and their Starlink roaming internet all over the place, including where my friend lives and of course here in Arkansas. And she told me that what they did was they purchased the RV system, they set it up at their house, and then to just make the Wi-Fi reach the entire house, they hooked it up to a Wi-Fi net. And then that way the signal was strong enough it could reach everywhere and they are able to do all the things without issue and so i thought about that i kind i kind of chewed on that for a little bit and you know when it got to the point where we still have not gotten an email about the the fiber being available here yet i mean we originally we were told it was going to be march um that it would be uh able to be signed up for We've not heard anything. We don't know when it's going to be. But the great thing about the Starlink is while it is pricey, the system costs um, $700 and the service is $150 a month. Um, while it is pricey, there is no contract and I can sell our system once we no longer need it. So once the fiber internet is available here in the area, we can sign up for that, get it all going, make sure it's good, and then we can turn off the Starlink. Now, because it is satellite, it does have to have an unobstructed view of the sky. So I'm actually up here on our upper deck. Uh, this is um, accessed through the loft, which is my office. And I just set my Starlink right there. And I did screw it to the deck so it couldn't go anywhere. Um, it took less than a minute to set this whole thing up. There's a modem that is inside the house, which you just plug into an outlet. You plug the cable into that modem. You plug it into the satellite. You set the satellite down. You open up the app and you say activate or set up or something like that. And the second you click that, this thing goes... <laughs> and it moves and it finds the satellite and just like that boom we were connected less than a minute and all, all I had to do was set up my network name and password to make our internet connection secure and that was it now our internet speed with the Starlink isn't like knock your socks off fast however it is definitely comparable to what we had in Alabama, which was not the greatest internet in the world, but 
I'm able to have my computer online, my phone's online, I'm streaming my television, and I'm able to upload videos all at the same time, and I don't have any issue whatsoever. And so this is definitely filling the gap for um, our situation and what we needed. Now the household Starlink, I'm sure is probably a lot faster. Um, I've heard people who have it, absolutely love it, said they can't believe how quick it is. But my take, my thought is because this is an RV system, it's just probably not um, quite as powerful, but buddy, it gets us on the internet and we can do everything we need to do, including uploading my videos in less than a whole day. So that is it for today. Thanks for hanging out with me here at the homestead. My name is Constance at Cosmopolitan Cornbread, and I'll talk to you all next time.